Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans and today I'm going to be showing you the brand new and improved NDI Scan Converter software. Now this is an application that's available to you off of our NDI Tools Pack which you can download at ndi.newtech.com. Now this is a series of applications that get you started working with NDI right away and for free so be sure to go and check those out. But uh, basically what NDI Scan Converter does is it takes the output of your laptop, computer, tablet, whatever, and converts that into an NDI signal so you can use both the video and audio off of your device. So say you want to play a PowerPoint presentation or just a movie or just share your desktop, this is the application that you want to use for that. And with some of the new improvements on it, we can also use the webcam and the microphone off of that device as NDI sources. So let's take a look. Okay, so after we've downloaded the application, we'll go ahead and find that in our program lists under New Tech NDI Tools, and we're looking at Scan Converter. All right, now when we run that, it's going to run over here in the background in your system tray, so just uh, click that little carrot to open it up, and the first thing that I want to show is how to get this signal into the TriCaster. So uh, I'm not using input number two here, so let's go ahead and open that up. And I'll go ahead and search for my tablet. Where is it? There we go, event tablet. And we'll click that one. And here we go. Here is my scan converter software. So that'll show off the, uh, the desktop of my uh, laptop here. But uh, let's look at some of the other features that we have available to us. So we'll just go down the list. I'll right click on NDI scan converter. And the first thing is if I go under frame rates, you'll see we now have different options for multiple uh, frame rates here. So you can use with the standard 60 or 5994 for NTSC, or go to 50 frames per second with PAL, or you know, download, you know, down convert it to say 30 frames per second or 2997 or 25 for PAL. All right, now on the capture settings side, uh, what I have right now is I have this configured to where my mouse pointer is displayed, so you can see what I'm doing, but if you want to turn that off, you can do that as well for say like a, a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, these two options here are going to be where you can configure your region of interest. So I'm going to go ahead and say configure region of interest. And so what that allows us to do is just segregate part of our screen here. So if I just want to show this, I can do that. And kind of get all my messy background applications out of the way. All right. And when you do that, it'll go ahead and um, select the region for you. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off because I don't need that for this particular example. All right, and then the next thing is audio source. I can either uh, bring in just my system audio, so that'll take whatever's coming off the sound card, like a iTunes or QuickTime, whatever, uh, so I can bring that into my production, or I can use the microphone uh, off of my laptop uh, itself as a source. All right, now the next thing I want to show y'all is we now added our webcams. So what's cool about this is you can do an audio detect, you can um, put this in manually if you want as far as like, what dimensions you want to have. So right now I have this uh, selected as my user facing right. So let's bring that in as a signal on input number four on the TriCaster. So bring that up and we'll go back to the event tablet, user facing right. And now you can see my mug in a whole new light. Bogue. Uh, so uh, yeah, it'll let, allow you to use your front facing camera or we can also use the world facing camera which once that converts here, it's just the back of my laptop here. So there's just a bunch of wires and whatnot. So not very fun to look at, but let me go ahead and just switch that back around to me. And there you go. That's how you can use that as an NDI signal. So I'm running both of these at the same time. I'm also using the webcam while I'm also uh, being able to access the desktop. Now, as far as bringing in a source for the audio, say on input number four here using the webcam, uh, what I'll do is I'll go underneath that under scan converter and I can select the microphone or I can just use the system audio again just playing music back etc or just set that to silence. So as you can see scan converter is the best way to share your presentations or your desktop across your network as a video source without having to mess around with any expensive scan converting hardware. It's all on software, all over your network, all over NDI. Now, if you like this demonstration but want a little bit more, make sure you go to newtech.com slash demo and sign up for a personalized demo where I'll show you some more of the ins and outs of the TriCaster systems. Until then, thank you for watching and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.